Hey guys, Blazy here. Uh, I hope you're all well. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Um, today's video is going to be slightly different, guys. We are going to be having a look at the Match Attack Standard Set uh, and the Match Attack Chrome Set uh, and showing you guys what the difference is between the two. Um, I don't think it's pretty well documented online, so if you're new to Match Attack, you haven't, you know, spent a few years collecting them, it will be difficult to tell what is the big differences between the two sets. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a run through, a beginner's guide to what the differences are between the Match Attack Standard Set and the Match Attack Chrome Set. So guys, here we have it. We have on the right hand side the gold box, which is the standard set of Match Tax cards. And on the left hand side, we have the grey box, which is the chrome set of Match Tax cards. So these are the two boxes that are available this year for the 2021-2022 season. Uh, and I guess to start us off, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the history of Match Tax. We're going to look at the release date for both boxes, um, what you get in each box in terms of the number of cards, We'll then look at the cost of each box and the cost of each pack, uh, as this really does vary between the two. So we're going to start off with those guys before we move on to looking at what are the differences between the cards. So if we look at the history, guys, Match Attacks was first launched in 2009 for the Bundesliga uh, and it followed very shortly for the Premier League afterwards. Over time, that has evolved and Match Attacks are now reflective. And if you look at the bottom left hand side of the box of the UEFA Champions League, UEFA Europa League, uh, and the UEFA Europa Conference League, which is obviously still very new. Uh, and then the Match Attacks Chrome Box um, was launched in 2020, what, 20 actually, at 2020 for the 2020 2021 season. And it was so successful uh, that Tops brought it back for a second year. So obviously, the standard Match Attacks have been around for over 10 years. This is only the second year uh, that the Chrome Box has been available. So historically, the standard set has been around for some time now. When you look at release dates for this year, the standard set was released in August 2021 um, for the start of the UEFA leagues across the Champions, Europa and Conference leagues. Um, and the Chrome box was only released in December 2021. So it was only released, I believe, the Thursday before last is when you could put your first orders in on top. So these really haven't been around for very long. Um, whereas you will note if you look at some influences for Match Attacks that a lot of them have completed their standard albums and that's because they've been around for so long now. So um, again, the Match Attacks for this year have been around for longer. Uh, and I guess what's really interesting to look at now, guys, would be is what do you get in each of these boxes? So when you look at the Match Attacks standard set, you'll note that it's a nice big bold lettering on there. You get 12 cards per pack and you get 24 packs um, per box. So if you work that out, and I'm doing the quick maths in my head here because I didn't write it down, you will get 264 cards of match attacks inside this box. When you compare it to the chrome cards, and we'll bring them back to the front, you get four cards per pack in the chrome box and 18 packs per box. So again, if we do the quick maths in that, we've got four times 18. Um, so that takes us down to 72 cards per box. So you get significantly less cards in the Chrome Match Attacks box than you do the standard set. Um, but again, that needs some perspective because we need to drill into this a little bit further. How much do each of these boxes cost you at retail? So if you look on the Tops UK website at the moment, you will note that you can get the Match Attacks standard box um, for £43.20. What that means is that you are paying per pack £1.80. So it's £1.80 per pack, £43.20 per box for the standard set of Match Attacks cards. When you look at a Chrome box, though, it is £65 for the box, so it's more expensive already uh, than the standard set, and actually you're paying £3.60 per pack. Um, so to compare the two side by side, this box is £22 more expensive, and you're actually paying double per pack. Um, so our first difference, guys, when we look at this box is obviously you get significantly more cards in the standard set if you were to order a box uh, and it is substantially cheaper. So the cost per pack is halved uh, and it's £22 less uh, than the Chrome box. So first difference, much cheaper, much more expensive on the Chrome box. However, like I said a minute ago, we really need some perspective to this because it really differs so much the quality of the card and what you get in each set. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to move these boxes out of the way. And what we're going to do is compare both sets of cards side by side. So let's take a look at the cards. 
Right, so we will start by having a look at the Match Attacks um, standard set. Uh, and this is the base card that is available in the standard set. It's a Mace Wing Greenwood card, and there's 320 um, to collect, and you get eight per pack. So if you buy a, well, a box of 24 cards like we looked at earlier, you're going to get a hell of a lot of these base cards. And this is one of 320 available um, in the base collection. Moving on from that, the next card that you can pack in the base or the match attack standard collection um, is this crystal variant. And a crystal variant is a crystal version of the base cards. And you can see the only difference between this Kai Havertz and this Mason Greenwood is that it comes in that crystal design. Um, and that really is the difference between the two. Um, the crystal cards are available every one in three packs. Uh, and there's 320 to collect. So if you can think about it, if you've got a crystal in every three packs and it was one you needed, you would need to purchase 960 packs um, to be able to complete your set, which means that these cards are relatively, you know, relatively rare, dependent on the player. Um, so the crystal cards are every one in three packs and are a variant of the 320 base cards. Um, I actually got the Crystal Ronaldo in my last uh, box opening, which I'm buzzing with. Uh, he's worth about 40 quid. So if I ever wanted to make my money back on the last box, um, you guys can see that you could quite easily do that if you get the right player. So nice little one in my collection. Moving on to, I guess, some of the more rarer cards. Um, we're going to look at the Mirror Foil cards. Um, the Mirror Foil cards, you get two in every pack. Uh, and the different variants you can get is Defensive Warrior. You can get Goal Machine. You can get a Super Saver, and we've got Eduard Mendy there. You can get a Midfield Masterclass. And I've just realised I'm placing these in the wrong position as we go, guys, so you can't see them. We've also got an All-Rounder Kovacic there. Uh, and you also get the Signature Style, which I think is quite nice, uh, where they've printed the signature onto the card. Uh, and that's a Phil Foden one there. So... Um, I just realised because of Phil Foden's shape, it's very difficult there to put them all down. But you will get two of these um, mirror foil cards per pack. Uh, and there's 64 of these to collect. So they're not the rarest, but they are rarer than the base set. And again, if you think about it, if you complete your collection out and you're missing one or two, it can be quite difficult to get the one you need. So we have our signature style um, and we have the positional based foil cards um, or mirror foil cards as well. Um, what we will do now, guys, is move on to the next rarest card in the set, and I believe there are another 64 of these, uh, and the 64 we're now looking at is holographic foil cards. Uh, and we've got a next-gen here, uh, Tino Angerin from Chelsea, uh, representing obviously the cards of the future. We've then got a Master and Apprentice, Lionel Messi and Ansu Fati, uh, and we have a Man of the Match card, Andy Robertson. So there are 64 different holographic foil cards to collect and you get one per packet so you will get one of these per pack and there are 64 to collect so they are harder to collect than the mirrored cards just because you only get one per pack um, and they're quite nice I really like it I like the way the light reflects off these um, they're a nice little addition to the set for me so we have our um, holographic foil cards as well Going on from that, we then have our 15th anniversary heritage cards to have a look at. Um, and you get these in every one in three packets. Um, and these, so yeah, like I said, one in three packets for a heritage card. Um, and you have 32 of these heritage cards to collect. And you can see here, we've got an Angel Di Maria. And it's in that old school match attacks design, which is really cool. Um, I love that. Um, the Topps Heritage cards are really cool. So you've got a one in uh, three chance of getting one and you've got 15 to collect. Oh, no, sorry. You've got 32 to collect and one in every three packs. Um, they're actually really difficult to get hold of. I'm missing so many from my collection and it's actually the hardest one I've had to find so far, um, which is odd because if we then take a look at the next foil we're looking at, we have the 100 clubs. And here we have our 100 club, Neuer. Uh, and these are every one in five packs and there are 11 to collect. I have actually, I'm actually only missing one of the 11 cards, which is crazy because I'm missing about 10 heritage cards, which just shows you how hard those heritage cards are to collect. Um, but you've also got the 100 club variant, you've got 11 to collect, uh, and it's every one in five packs. Uh, we then move on 
to something that's really rare. And again, you're probably going to have to buy a box to find one of these. Um, but we then have our Chrome Pro Elite Shields. Um, and these are every 1 in 24 packs. I got this Salah uh, on a pack opening on the plane to New York the other week. Uh, and it's just a Chrome variant of the base cards in a shield form, which is really cool. So you'll note that you've only got kind of the player portraits head there, uh, and it's in that Chrome design. Uh, if I go through the numbers again, there's 16 to collect and one in 24 packs. I've only got three of these because, again, you need to buy a hell of a lot of boxes to get these. Um, but they're a really cool card in the set, and there's nothing like that, to be fair, in the Chrome set. So a really nice pull from these boxes. Uh, and finally, I guess the only realistic card left to go through is the Chrome Preview cards. Um, so these Chrome Preview cards, you've got 16 to collect, and they're every one in 48 packs. So actually, you'd need to buy two boxes to get one of these. Um, funnily enough, I've actually collected three of these so far. Um, I got one from a box that I did the other day. I got one from a Mega Tin, and I got one from a pack I purchased from Mozzers or Morrison's. Um, which is really good. So these are a preview to the Chrome set that was just that's just dropped. Um, so Tops have been building this up throughout the year. Um, and there's 16 of these Chrome preview cards to collect and one in 48 packs. Um, that takes us on to, I guess, what's feasibly possible from these boxes. The only other card we've not looked at uh, is a signature card or an autograph card because I haven't got one. Uh, to give you guys an idea, an autograph card is every 3,100 packs on average. Uh, so you would need to buy 130 boxes, realistically, to have a chance of getting one of these, which is a crazy amount of money. Uh, so if you ever get your hands on an autographed um, standard set card, um, they're worth a lot of money just because there's so few of them. So this is what we're looking at in the uh, in the base set, or in the, well, not in the base set, in the standard set as such. And you'll see that, you know, we've got plenty of base cards, plenty of different variants to collect. It's all a little bit overwhelming. Um, and what we're now going to do is we've shown you what's in the base set. We're now going to compare it to what is in the Chrome set. So let's take a look. Right. So what we're going to do now, guys, is take a look at the Chrome edition match attacks. Um, and the best way to clear up what is available in this box before we start looking is that the box is split into two sets. Uh, you have the base set of 200 cards uh, and you've then got the numbered parallel set. Um, some of you may not be familiar with number parallels, so just to explain, I guess put it in the easiest way possible. Um, in the normal match attacks box, so the gold one, all of the cards in there are not numbered. So they're unnumbered, which means there technically could be unlimited copies of that card in the world. So that means that you could have a million copies of a Lewandowski card um, in circulation. However, with a numbered card, it's of a limited run. So actually, if the card is numbered to 99, there are only 99 cards of that specific card available in the world forever. Um, and that's why these cards can be a bit more valuable. And for example, here, you can see this card is numbered 70 of 75. Uh, and that means that this is number 70 of the 75 cards that were available, um, which makes this card a lot rarer than a card that's actually a part of an unlimited run. So the difference between unnumbered and numbered is that numbered, there's only a set number of cards um, and they're much harder to come by. So this is what is in the Match Attacks Chrome set. You've got a 200 base set and then you've got a large number of numbered parallels. So what we'll do, guys, is we are just going to have a quick look at what the, ba well, the base cards look like before moving on to the numbered parallels. So within the base set, you have got these standard cards like we looked at in the Match Attacks box. Uh, and the difference between these two cards is that you can see it's finished in the chrome and it looks really really nice you can see my beautiful reflection in there um they just feel so much nicer than the normal tops cards so if you're looking for a product that's more premium tops chrome uh, is right up your alley so within the 200 base set you have the standard cards uh, and then when we move across to what else is available within the base set we have um the man of the match cards which we saw in the match attacks um standard edition box so these are literally chrome versions of the man of the match card we also have uh the next gen cards so again like we saw in the standard box there's next gen cards reflecting the talents of the future a set number of these cards are also available uh, within the chrome box as well uh finished in the chrome um sort of polish i want to call it a polish or a finish it's it's one or the other it just feels really really nice guys so these three cards are available in the base set 
We have also got the 100 Club. So if you remember that nice shiny gold card we looked at in the standard set or the standard box, this is all of so available in the Chrome edition as well. So 100 Club, Manuel Neuer here, and it's finished in the Chrome as opposed to the gold. Uh, and we can explain why that is um, a little bit later. So two cards that are within this base set that do not feature in the Match Attack Standard Edition um, are these two here. So we have Super Signings. Um, these are available as part of a limited run in the normal Match Attack series or the standard Match Attack series. However, you can only get them in additional packets that aren't found in boxes. However, the Super Signings do make up part of the Chrome Edition box. So here we've got a Super Signings Messi, uh, and this is in addition to the cards that are already part of the base set. Um, and the other one is this one here. We have the Legends cards. I think there's about three in the box. I've definitely seen Maldini, um, Van der Sar, and Roberto Carlos. Um, and these Legend cards are also available um, within the Chrome Edition. So these are the cards that aren't parallels, but are inserts and make up the 200 card base set. So within a pack of four cards um, of Match Attacks Chromes, you will get at least three of these cards that you see here. Uh, and the other card will be either a numbered or unnumbered parallel, which we're going to take a look at in a second. So if you purchase this box, you will get any one of these here and you can find these four in the standard edition, but obviously without the chrome finish. Um, and these two are the two extra um, inserts they've put inside the chrome box. So if we now take a look, guys, at what I mean by parallels, we're going to look at two things, guys. We're going to take a look at the numbered parallels and the unnumbered parallels. And to start with, we're going to look at the unnumbered ones first. So here we have a Speckle and Golo Kante unnumbered parallel. So like I said earlier, that means it is not numbered on the back. So there are limited numbers of this Speckle and Golo Kante in the world. And the other unnumbered parallel that's available in this box set is also the refractor card. So if you take a look at this, you can see that it shines the light and refracts it beautifully. And you can't see my lovely face in the background. Um, and that is because it's got this sheen on it. And if you compare it to a normal card, you can see the difference. You can see my reflection in the Greenwood card. You cannot see anything in that Pedri card. So as part of the Chrome Edition, you can get unnumbered parallels that are either Speckle or, um, God, I've really forgotten what it's called, the Refractor. So within a pack of Match Attacks Chromes, you'll get four cards, three of which will be from the base set. And the additional card could be either an unnumbered parallel or a numbered parallel. So these aren't particularly rare. There's unlimited copies in the world, but they're nice cards to have as part of your collection. So... To start with, these are the two unnumbered parallels that form part of the box. Now is where we get into the special cards, guys, because like I've said, there are numbered parallels available as part of this set. Uh, and what I'm going to do, guys, is just show you what some of them look like. Um, if we walk through the ones that I have got, we have got a purple parallel here. So this is a purple parallel of Insinius Junior card. And you can see on the back that it's numbered 299. Um, so there are only 299 of this Vincinius Jr. card in the world. Um, moving through the rarities, I'm just going to make sure I get these in the right order here. We also have the pink parallels, uh, and I have a pink parallel Jude Bellingham here. Um, really nice card, and again, you can see it's numbered to 199, uh, and there's only 199 of those available um, worldwide. We then have a few other coloured parallels that we have in our hands today that we can show you. Uh, including the um, Aqua Parallel. So we have an Aqua Parallel Giroud here. We also have a Neon Parallel, so La Toro Martinez. We have in our hands as well a Yellow Parallel, Chris, well, Yusuf Poulsen um, of Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, and then the final parallel we have to show you here before we run through the whole set, and this is really special, this one, is a Black Henrik Mkhitaryan. And this card is actually numbered to 15. So that means there's only 15 of these Henrik Mkhitaryan cards in the world. Um, so we're just going to move those up a little bit so we don't get the light shining off Henrik there. Um, so yeah, these are um, some of the numbered parallels that are available inside the Chrome box. Um, like I said, they are numbered. So they are of a limited edition. And if we run through what's available... You can see down here, there's so many different numbered cards. You've got the Refractors, which are one in three, which we looked at. The Speckle, which is one in nine. 
We have my purple, which is a one in six, pink, which is a one in nine. Um, we have a aqua, which is one in 13. Neon is one in 19. Yellow is one in 25. Um, we don't actually have a gold or orange here, um, but orange would be, well, gold would be one in 38 and orange one in 76. This black card here is every one in 126 packs, which is absolutely crazy, guys. Um, and we also have a red, which is one in 377, and a super refractor, which is one in 1,885. Um, and if I show you guys the full list here, if any of you want to just go to sync, there you go, guys. If any of you are interested in seeing the odds, we have them on screen here. So you can uh, pause it and make a note of anything you want to take a look at. What is really interesting on here to note is that you can get autograph cards in this box as well. So you get an autograph in every one in five boxes, which is crazy. Because if you think about it, in the normal match attacks, you need to purchase roughly 3,100 packs to get a... Uh, autograph card which i mean this is going to work out buying over a thousand or a hundred over 130 boxes you'd need to buy to get yourself an autograph on average in the normal match attacks you only need to buy five to get one on here and you can see that there's refractor cards available for these as well so you can get a refractor at every one in 143 and sorry i've read the wrong one there yeah yeah it's actually no i'm right yeah an autograph refractor one in 143 uh, autograph parallels one in 303 red um, autographs one in 1513 and a super refractor autograph in every one in seven and a half thousand packets so that would be a one of one autograph that no one else in the world is going to have um which is pretty crazy and i have seen someone online who has got the neymar card so they are out there they do exist they are real um so yeah this is the second half of the set guys you can see that we've got all these numbered parallels here um these are collector's items they do sell some of these for quite a bit of money um i've seen a few cards on ebay go in the hundreds um and this is what really sets the two sets apart in the normal match attacks everything is an unlimited run Whereas in the Chrome match attacks, you have all these limited run cards. Um, and I love them. I think they're amazing. I think it, um, it adds a whole new dimension to match attacks. So yeah, this is the big difference between the two sets. So we've seen the cards. We've seen everything side by side. And again, we can have a quick look at Mkhitaryan versus Greenwood. You can see he's got that black refractor finish. Um, whereas Greenwood's obviously the standard card. So this is why these cards are so cool. They just look, they look a rainbow. You could sing a rainbow with these. They're really nice. So that is the difference between the two cards, guys. What we'll do now is just pop back over and summarize. So to summarize, guys, we have the two boxes in front of us. And we're just going to quickly, again, quick fire recap what the differences are between these two boxes. Uh, the match tax standard set has been out for longer. And the chrome set has only come out recently. A box of standards is 4320, 180 a pack. And the chromes are 65 a box and £3.60 per pack. So more expensive. Um, the standard match attacks has a much bigger base collection. It has a lot of inserts in there as well. It probably has about nine different variations of insert. Um, and then if you look at the chrome cards on top of that, it's got, there's a huge variety in this match attack set. So there's lots of different cards to collect. However, none of them are numbered. Um, so they are an unlimited run. So there could be unlimited numbers of any of the cards in this set out there in the world. Um, but they're a great collection for kids, for example, um, who just want to collect football players and aren't interested in the resale value. Uh, and again, for any collectors out there that are looking for a cheap product um, and love collecting and filling in a binder. Um, I've loved collecting them. So they really are a card for everyone. The Chromes, however... Are, as we said, they are significantly more expensive. The base set is only 200 large and it incorporates a lot of the inserts that weren't a base card in the standard set. So you've got 200 cards flat out to collect, um, but alongside those 200 cards, you have these numbered parallel cards like this Mkhitaryan, which are numbered to 15. So the resale value on some of these cards is crazy. They can be worth a lot of money. So as a result, this box is great for collectors that are looking to collect a premium product and are possibly looking to make money on it in the future because these are a limited run. These cards probably aren't great for kids that are just looking to collect a product and play the game itself because they're expensive uh, and actually um, they're not really meant for playing with. So to look at the two boxes side by side, a cheaper product, great for everyone, a more expensive product, great for collectors and those looking to make some money. Um, and they really are the key differences 
between the two boxes. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I have a box opening available on my YouTube of the standard set and we did it in some crazy ways. So that is available for you guys to watch. And I also have a video of me opening my first ever Chrome box. So feel free to check them out. I hope you found the video useful. I hope you found it insightful. I hope you've left knowing a little bit more about Match Attacks cars than you did before you joined. Uh, and if you liked the video, please feel free to drop it a like. And if you want to see more from me in the future, I'd love for you to subscribe to the Blazy Collects community. Um, and yeah, it'd be great to meet some more car collectors. So thank you for watching uh, and have a lovely day.